Hi guys, it's Miss Russell here. And um, on Tuesday, we did a video uh, lesson about summary. And that's where we wrote a summary about Ellis Island. And it was from text. So this time I wanted to show you um, how it is from a video. So uh, it's always important for me to put as much of the summary in my own words so that I can understand what I've read or watched. So in here, when I'm doing this, uh, that's what I will do is I would take my own notes using this graphic organizer. You saw this graphic organizer the other day, the who or what, when and or where, main idea, part of the beginning, main idea, part of the middle, and main idea, part of the end. And then when we're finished, you can write your own summary. So let's watch the YouTube video on penguins. <laughs> We get it. You don't really want your kids watching videos, but it can have... Skipping the ad. <laughs> Penguins. Penguins are the best dressed animals on the planet. They're easy to spot. They look just like they're wearing tuxedos. They have a cute, elegant walk. And can even say... How do you do? <laughs> but they also like to have fun sliding on their bellies. Whee! Penguins are the champions of sliding and swimming. It helps them escape their biggest predators, seals and orcas. They live in cold climates, in places such as Antarctica. That's why they have special feathers that keep them warm in water. Have you ever seen a penguin wearing a jumper? No, that would be silly. What else makes the penguin special? Well, they're a bird that can't fly. But they can swim just like a fish. So what makes them a bird? Well, they still have a beak, wings, feathers, and lay eggs. Oh, look, baby penguins. Click on the videos above to see more. So that's a cute video. We all love penguins. And if you've ever been to Moody Gardens and you've been to see the penguin exhibit, it, they're quite, quite fascinating. So on this video, I have the who or the what. That's the penguins. And then I have the when and or the where. So I don't have a time frame. So I can't do the when, but I do know where penguins are at. They are at, they live in Antarctica. So um, in the beginning, I put a penguin is unique and easily spotted with its feathers that favor a tuxedo, black and white. Now, I specifically said black and white because uh, nowadays you can get a tuxedo in different colors. And if you have ever... Uh, uh, saw or uh, had of an older brother or sister, or you've seen pictures on social media, tuxedos are in different colors. So the main idea part is I put in, penguins love to slide on the ice and are excellent swimmers, which help them get away from their enemies like an orca. And I think that's important for the animal. Um, at the end, it says, although it is a bird and it still has all the characteristics of a bird, it can't fly. So what I did is in con uh, summary, I used my own words and I said, penguins live in Antarctica and are easily seen because they look like they are wearing a black and white tuxedo. Now I took away spotted because that was um, in the video. And um, I went ahead and said, they look like they're wearing a black and white tuxedo. So I was very specific with the colors. They love to slide on the ice Notice I didn't say on their bellies, but of course, uh, hopefully you knew that. And are fast swimmers, which help them get away from their predators like the orca well. There's also, there was a seal, but I used the orca because, um, you know, it was the first animal that appeared. Although a penguin is a bird and has all the characteristics of a bird, it cannot fly. So all the other characteristics are very similar to all the other birds, uh, as it stated, but it cannot fly. So it's a flightless bird. I could have put that it is a flightless bird, uh, but I just put it into my own words. So in conclusion, we can summarize if we stick to this simple note taking and paraphrasing. This strategy and this graphic organizer are a great way to help you to uh, do a summary in your future. Remember the who or the what, 
the when and or the where, which we saw that in this video, it was only the where, main ideas or your key points, which are the most important things that move the story along from the beginning, the middle and the end. I hope that you've learned how to do summary on your own. Now it's your turn to try. Good luck. Bye.